originally I'm from metropolitan Detroit, attended Cass Technical High School. And after Cass Technical High School, I attended Ferris State University College at the time and this distinguished refrigeration, heat, and air conditioning program. I picked up a lot of experience at Ferris State that I never would have picked up in the metropolitan area because this was the only school that had a refrigeration program at that time. It was either going to the United States military or Henry Ford Community College and I chose Ferris. And since that time, I've returned to Ferris uh, for the baccalaureate degree and it's also propelled me and prepared me for my master's degree. I uh, spent time in the HVAC industry, working with industry pioneers such as Richard Shaw and some of the original equipment manufacturers. I've learned so much by developing relationships with people in the industry that have helped me gotten to this point thus far. <laughs> never giving up, never letting go. As our founder has conveyed, that is the trait of a bulldog, never giving up, never letting go. Uh, there's something about a bulldog that distinguishes itself from other dogs, that it is the powerful, strongest uh, canine uh, animal in the United States or in the world, and it represents the strength of our college, and that's what a bulldog is about. But I have bulldog blood in my veins, and I'm never letting go. And I started off as a service technician, hands-on mechanic, and then I received a call from Joe Knott, said that Dow Chemical was looking for some people, and I interviewed, it was a Ferris graduate there named John Wells, he was in charge of the HVAC administration program there, and he hired me out of 100 people and gave me an opportunity, and after he saw that I had special talents, he said that he encouraged me every year to go back to college. Uh, I came back the summer of 87. I had a family emergency and I had to go back and tend to some family responsibilities. My conditions of employment was to come back with a four-year degree. Uh, I continued to work with my family and I realized there was nothing that I could do at the time. And I, I worked in the United States military to provide an opportunity for me to serve my country as well as provide me additional educational incentives to come back to Ferris State and University now. And when I came back in 1991 to 93, 10 years later, it was as if uh, this is where I was to be. It was the only college for me to finish my four-year degree in a, a short period of time. I knew the faculty and the staff, and they knew me. And my work in industry, uh, Richard Shaw had visited me at several sites. He encouraged me to come back. When I was in the military, I had classes that transferred back to the four-year program. I worked closely with the administration. That really impressed me. So when I got out of the military after the Gulf War in 1991, I came back to the campus in 1991. I had no apprehension that I was going to finish the four-year program. And it was uh, really great because then I continued to come back every year, every several years at homecoming and continue to share what I've learned with folks as well and see some of the people here, things of that nature. So my experience now as energy program manager of federal government provides me an opportunity to implement some of the training that I've learned at Ferris State at the master's level in energy and as well as continue working facilities in the HVAC energy, working with managers and directors. Well, as you know, there's a mandate to uh, save energy throughout our country and be uh, less dependent on foreign oil. Federal Energy Manager Program mandated that we place energy managers, federally trained energy managers at federal government sites throughout the country and through the world, various agencies. Defense Logistics Agency is one of the largest suppliers of military supplies and commodities across the world, throughout the globe, and also has a large energy program that develops fuel for Air, uh, Navy, Air Force, Army, Marines, and the military uh, services within itself. is one of its unique kind, one of the best in the country as I've heard through all my peers, uh, professional representatives that I've worked with as far as energy management, uh, the HVAC program, and the opportunity that was created for community college professionals to transfer to the Ferris State College University is the one, only one unique of its kind, which makes it a commodity, which is, makes it very special. Of course I root for the Bulldogs, far as way. You know, with the, the Bulldog fight song is the pedigree of all Bulldog fight songs, as we used to say, FSC, FSC. If you have a stadium of folks chanting FSC, now it's FSU. And when I was on the football team and I would hear the crowd talking about FSC and the Bulldog running around showing the mascot doing his thing and the cheerleaders doing his thing and the fight song, it just brings back such a nostalgic focus of what college is about.
It's, it's just a humbling experience, and in that capacity, I'll do the best that I can to serve the university, not serve myself, to serve the university the best capacity that I can to be a role model, as well as be a person that can help the organization increase enrollment and social awareness within the HVAC program. The gift is in a giver. If you, if you graduate from Ferris, you should make it, a, make it your daily habit to come back and reach back. Find someone like you, similar to you, that you know in your town or neighborhood. Talk with him or her. And also to provide the donations to the college. There's someone out there like myself. I had to work two or three different jobs just to continue to stay in college. It is so important to have a student focusing on their grades in classroom and not have to worry about the financial aspect of finishing college. If they have to worry about where the next uh, loan is going to come from, they're going to be as focused on their grades. As our founder has conveyed that if he had his way, and I may not be saying it correctly, that he would ensure uh, education and training for all people throughout the country, throughout the United States. And I am a living example of our founder's quote, as you can find through the historical uh, knowledge and books of Ferris State College and Ferris Institute. Uh, I let that be a, a limited example of those quotations. Oh.